Hello, welcome to another Becoming a Modern Man. We are in game two of our Monument Sisters Modern League, and uh, we will choose to be on the play here. Uh, this is our opening hand. It's, uh, it's not really there, is it? We're going to have to mulligan this. This is a bit more like it, I suppose. Um, I guess we'll put away the second Thalia. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty decent hand, I guess. Soul Warden slash Soul's Attendant into Squadron Hawk. Or into Thalia, depending on how good Thalia is going to be against our opponent. Um, and then follow up with Squadron Hawk to restock our hand. So yeah, this is a it seems like a pretty solid hand for our deck. So we will keep this. Thalia can go. We go for the basic planes into Soul Warden. That's the turn. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Tron. That could be problematic. Deck isn't exactly known for its speed. So uh, that certainly could cause us some headaches. Ugin and uh, Khan, etc. Um, all could be fairly problematic. Uh, Farley would probably be nice here though. Um, that can slow him down a little bit and allow us to get in some damage. Uh, also Force of Virtue is pretty good as a way of um, pumping up our guys. I think we're going to lead with Thalia. Into next turn we can Squadron Hawk. Force of Virtue. Oh, hopefully we draw a land actually to do that. Hmm. Maybe for that reason we should have Squadron Hawked first. Just want to uh, tax our opponent as much as possible, as soon as possible. There's an S is mine. And stirrings, perhaps? Not too clear. Now, oh, first of all, Virtue actually does work with Thalia. I haven't actually tried it yet. Maybe you can cast it for free because it does say you can't. You don't have to pay its cost. Yeah, maybe it does work. Um, we will we will see. I guess um, we might very well get a chance. So yeah, I haven't played Ancient Stirrings and got Blast Zone, which it could be relevant. Um, Sky Hussar. I think we want to be an attack here, really, as much as possible. I'm going to play. Squadron Hawk, and then we'll see how Force of Virtue interacts with Thalia as I have yet to test it out. So, we'll collect our Hawks. And attack. And I guess we'll see if our Abundance got some 3 Tron. Which might be significant. So no two and three taunt Tron for our opponent. Sylvan scrying is gonna come and allow them to find the missing power plant. Yeah, so you do have still have to pay one to Thalia. Irritatingly, um, okay. So, found a land which is nice. We need to stop on our upkeep just in case we want to use this Hussar. Uh, so, I guess we just keep playing Hawks. Don't seem to be anything better to do at the moment. Uh, we could play Souls Tendent instead and gain some life, but I think life is generally going to be very relevant against Tron. And no, we don't want to 
to search anything up because there's nothing to find. Type of four. Be interesting to see what our opponent does next turn. See, they're going to have eight mana available to them, so there's potentially a lot of things that they could do. They're down to 12, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So Force of Virtue plus Chef Neptune should be able to kill our opponent next turn, but obviously it's based on them not really doing anything, which seems pretty unlikely. This appears to be a Walking Ballista, I think. Okay, Walking Ballista for 4. I guess we let him try and ping us and then force a virtue. That seems to make the most sense. So, pay one. Looks like a hawk. The force of virtue into play. I guess this just allows him to respond by pinging our guys, but. So maybe that wasn't the smartest way of doing it. Yeah, I suppose we should have made our guys big first, because obviously he can respond to the. putting force of virtue into play. Yeah, that wasn't too smart in hindsight. Uh, so. Soul's Attendant. Uh, Squadron Hawk. Yeah, we played that pretty badly, I think. Could have saved a couple of our guys, although I assume Farley would have uh, bitten the dust either way. Open zone on 10, but they've got a lot of mana and a lot of time to uh, deal with our threats. Blast zone actually is a problem, isn't it? So that's going to kill our one drops. Scrying is going to find another tower? Or oh, Sanctum of Ugin? Okay. Relic of Progenitus isn't particularly relevant to us. So presumably he's just going to pop that for a draw at this point in time. Which guy who saw would allow you to use it at a time that isn't your upkeep? Because we're struggling at the minute. Attack. This looks bad. Okay, there's Ugin. Which can just wreck our board. Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do about this. I don't know if we could have saved ourselves more with if we played the ballista turn better, but yeah, we're just going to lose everything here. And I don't know there's a lot we can do about it. Go to the map. Go to Hollow Fountain. That's not going to do it. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. Can't really see us coming back from this situation. Ooh, definitely bad for us. Uh, so, host board. Uh, I guess we want the stony silences. Though I don't know how incredible. Um, 
Well, obviously we can stick one early on the play, I suppose that's pretty good. Uh, Thalia seems good. This is a general way of slowing them down. I guess we just want to be fast beyond anything else. Um, in terms of cards we want to take out, I guess Sagisar really hasn't impressed me so far, to be honest. And it's quite a slow draw engine. Veteran, venerated Loxodon at least is fast. Um, Ketra is probably a little slow. Maybe we can cut a path. Yeah, let's try it like that. Seems relatively good. Uh, so we're in a position where we still really want to draw lands, ideally, so we won't fetch at this moment in time. I suppose we should have, could have brought in some counter magic, but. Yeah, maybe, maybe that should, maybe we should have gone in on the sort of unified will plan because there is a good chance that we get that. Okay, Stony Science is nice at this stage in the game, particularly with our opponent sitting with a Kamarak star out. Uh, so let's get a Hallowed Fountain. Not that it is likely to particularly matter, but Stony Silence comes down. Nice and early, turns off the Chromatic Star, turns off Oblivion Stone, etc. So that seems pretty good for us. Obviously, later in the game, it tends to be a bit dead. And obviously, if they can just get Tron together and start playing Planeswalkers, it's not overly exciting. Like, our opponent might have Natural Tron, which wouldn't be terribly exciting. Uh, and playing out another Chromatic Star is obviously good for us. Seems to indicate that they don't have a ton going on. So, let's play with Thalia. Let's always yield to the Souls Attendant. And hopefully our opponent's stuck with a load of expedition maps and things in hand. I mean, it's possible they just have natural Tron, which obviously wouldn't be great. Uh, but Thalia at least slows them down. Blast Zone. Is interesting. So you can potentially get wipe our uh, Thalia and Stony Silence off the board, which would be a little bit tricky for us. Um, so let's attack. I'd like to not play into the blast zone, but I don't think we've got much choice. Given our current hand, um, everything's a two drop, so I guess we've just fetch up some hawks. And hope for the best. I suppose at the very least, it does. You know, opponent spending a turn activating Blast Zone. But yeah, it is a bit of a pain. Blast Zone takes up to two. I'm assuming they have a land. Oh. Looks like they've got Tron, so they can actually just tap Tower and Blast Zoners. And then go off with the Chromatic Stars as well. They're all ready to go. So yeah, that's pretty bad for us. The natural Tron plus Blast Zone is uh, pretty rough for us. Uh, I think it's going to get Sanctum, maybe. Maybe just Nurse's Tower, depending on what their mana is looking like. 
Yeah, this matchup seems pretty bad, I suppose. Because our deck is not really designed with speed in mind. And Tron will just overrun you eventually. Has a lot of ways to clear the board, which obviously is kind of our whole game plan. Just to clog up the board. So next turn, I mean, hopefully we'll draw a land, but no guarantees on that. So if we don't, I guess we're just playing Thalia, but our opponent's going to have 10 mana available. Keisha's all is not really what we were looking for. Yeah, things are definitely not looking up for us. And Blast doesn't really cost us. Although I suppose eventually, given that our opponent just has natural Tron, but they would eventually found a car or some way to get rid of it. So this is Google Mark. Or just a huge walking blister. Ugin. So there goes the board, there goes the neighborhood. Um, I don't know that we can do anything about this, realistically. Yeah, I think we've just been beaten by Ugin again. Uh, this match is pretty miserable. Um, our opponent's got backup Ugin as well, if we somehow had a way of killing Ugin, which we definitely don't. Um, yeah, so that is game. Uh, sadly, pretty uh, dismal performance for our deck there.